My grandmother was right. The boogeyman was real. Evil dies tonight. Michael Myers is flesh and blood. The more he kills, the more he transcends. I'm coming for you, Michael. Cast and director is back. After setting the events up from Halloween 2018, this plays on the same night. The shape is thought to be dead, of course. With the sequel, he's very much alive. With the title, Halloween Kills, there's gonna be non-stop brutal murders in it. And you can see some in the trailer. I'm hoping that they have left a lot more for the theater release experience. It's definitely playing on the idea of female empowerment um, with you know, Lori, Karen, and um, Allison, um, but they're definitely fighting back and not hiding, and I think that's really exciting. Michael actually going up against people that's just not willing to give up. I definitely do get Halloween 4 vibes with the town of Haddonfield going up against Michael. I just don't want to see them, like, jumping him. Definitely a good privilege for Michael to kill a lot more residents. You know, definitely pick up the kill count. Just including the whole franchise other than the first. He has a lot of, um, more work to do. A lot of the speculations that has, go has gone on since the film's release, you know, people already predicting what was going to happen with the opening scene with the firefighters. Of course, the fire, the lighting of the orange. It's going to be really beautiful imagery. Um, even for a horror movie. Of course, cinematography in the last film I thought was pretty decent. In this film, I'm more excited for because it, it can be its own sequel and not having to so much pay homage to the first film that you know can't be topped anyway. This one has more leverage to be its own thing, a sequel to its own film instead of you know being like, oh, it's the sequel to the 1978 classic. So, this one I'm actually a lot more excited for. It's definitely gonna be one hell of an experience in theaters with COVID and the delay of the movie. That's supposed to be last year. It being pushed to a year later, it's definitely gonna amp up people's anticipation and excitement. I think that also helped with sales. This one's gonna be a lot more serious, hopefully. I do think that there's room for improvement, you know, to build from their sto original story that they created. I have spoken with actress Annie Johnson who plays Judith Myers recently and I'll leave a link in the description below about my interview with her. I think we can all agree it will be a pretty triumphant return. Halloween Kills is going to have the biggest pile up that we've seen in any Halloween film so far. That'll definitely be worth the wait. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.